Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have a new HP desktop, which is the, the model is TE01-1022. Here you can see this, this is the bottom of the desktop. The left here is the logo, which is an Intel i7. This is the 10th generation. And here's the HP logo. So I'm sorry in advance because my camera and the table is fixed and I can't adjust the height of the camera. So you may see a very close up um, of the desktop, but I know that I can't capture the entire video for you. But what I'll do is I'll try to move the object, you know, where the camera is focusing right in the middle here. So I'll try to move the object and explain it to you step by step. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, take it apart or at least you know what I can take it apart and explain to you what is in this new desktop HP and if you have any broken parts or if you need to upgrade I hope that this video would explain to you and help you to guide you to make the right purchase now um, now let's talk about how it looks like alright so this is the HP and this is the front panel so this is the top here as you can see the uh, home button is on the top right corner and it comes to the headphone jack these are the USB ports and the SD card as well as USB-C ports here and if you go further down there's the HP logo alright so here you can see that the HP has a little slider here and which is for your optical drive so if you can see this is your CD-ROM optical drive okay so let me lay it down flat and let me kind of like show you what is in the back here so here you can see the um, the speaker ports the microphone ports are here this is your HDMI port as well as VGA so if you're thinking about having two monitors side by side this computer here can do two monitors without any problem one that goes out to HDMI monitor the second one is the VGA monitor all right as you go further down here we have one two three four USB ports and then this is the Ethernet plug-in cable connection as you go further down as well you can see that the slot here is all covered that means there's no dedicated graphics card here it doesn't have a, a graphics card okay and if you go further down here this is the power supply all right so now you can tell that the back of the computer is facing on my left and the front of the computer is facing on my right now when I tilt the computer at the bottom of the here and you should be able to see the model number now for this purpose I'm going to turn it around and show it to you that the uh, this is the HP NV desktop and the model number here is TE01-1022 alright so let me lay it flat and I'll explain to you where I lay it flat from now the the back of the computer is on my left and the front of the computer here is on my right side of it okay now I'm gonna take it apart first you need to open up the side panel get one of the uh, uh, a flat head screwdriver or maybe a torque screwdriver and there is a black screw right here so go ahead and loosen up the screw and you want to slide the, the side panel to your left okay goes to your left slide it to your left and when you hear that slide and this would just come right out All right, here you can see this is the exhaust CPU fan, which intake of the hot air and exhaust it in the back here. Okay, this is your CPU fan with a heat sink. It blows the air downwards. Okay, so the fan blows the air downwards. Now, uh, first thing I like to do is to remove this black sheet right here, this black cover here. So, flat head screwdriver again. There's one screw right here. So go ahead and remove that screw. And the back the, the black panel here will just come out meaning that you lift it up and it will just come out because there's nothing whatsoever is holding it so these three 
kind of a stick out metal is to slide in to these three holes right here. So it's just slide in at one angle and it clips on. Lift it up. So lift it up and then it just come right out. All right, so the next thing I need to do is to open the front panel here. All right, so this is the front panel. Front panel has three clipper, the bottom here, middle, and the very top here. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to lift it up a little and push it to your right. Do that for the middle one, lift it up a little, push it to your right, and do the very bottom. Lift up a little, push it to your right. So once you have that three clipper detached, the front panel will just come right out without any problem. Okay? So to put it back, it's very simple. You just have to align, right? Align all the USB port and this little uh, slide in at the bottom here. You just gotta align them and then push it in, it would clip back on. But let's continue. So let's put that on the side here. Now, the next part I like to do is to remove the um, optical drive, right? So here's our CD-ROM. We're gonna remove it. Before you can remove, you need to disconnect the cable. To disconnect the cable, just pull the cable to your left. Okay, pull it away from, from the CD-ROM. Pull it to your left. Now, to open this CD-ROM, you got to push this green button, not a button, but like a plastic, push it all the way in, and then push it, slide it out. Okay, when you push it, you can just pull at the same time, it will slide it to your right side of it. That's how you remove the optical drive. And if you're curious, if you have a bad optical drive and you want to replace it, so this is where you can find the model number here, is GUD. 1N or S05NT. Alright, so this is manufactured in June 2020. Uh, it's an HP optical drive, and this is how it looks like. Alright, so let's put the optical drive on the side. Now, for me to further explain to you, I need to remove this optical drive uh, bay. So, this bay is holding the the CD drive. So to remove this, there's one screw that is holding on to, which is in the front here. All right. So there's a front. Oops. So there's a front screw right here, which is holding the bay. Go ahead and remove that. So once you remove that screw, and then make sure the cable is not attached to this clipper here. Now you can lift. Just lift it up. All right. Just lift up the bay. And that's how the bay will just come right out. Okay, again, there's a three little slide in. That this slide in is to go into these three slots, right? So you slide it in like this. So lift it up, it, it will just come out. All right, so here's the fun part. The fun part is that now you can see the entire motherboard, right? So here, I believe you have eight and eight DDR4 RAM. Okay, so um, it is not maxed out yet. You can do 8 and 8, which is 16 total. But if you want to max it out to 32, you can do 16 and 16 DDR4 RAM. And that would max out to 32 gigs of RAM. Here you can see it's a M.2 drive. So this M.2 is actually your optical drive. Alright, so let's take it out. There's only one screw that's hold on to it. It's a Phillips screw, so go, go ahead and remove that screw, okay? And your M.2 drive would slide out without any problem. Here, if you take a look at the M.2 drive, let's see how big is this. This is 512 gigabyte, all right? So here it says 512 gigabyte. So this 512 gigabyte M.2 has the operating system and it looks like it's only one chip right here. The rest of it is flat, has nothing nothing on it. So this one chip itself is 512. Um, if you need more space and you can actually um, upgrade the M.2 to one terabyte or two terabyte, your preference, okay? And you need to have 
Windows 10 operating system, the installer USB or disk to install the Windows onto the new M.2 once you upgraded the, the drive. Here is your Wi-Fi card. So this computer does have the built-in Wi-Fi. It has the Ethernet port for hardwired. Also, it does have the Wi-Fi port, uh, Wi-Fi capability as well. Now, um, here you have the one slot of PCIe and one tiny slot of PCIe as well. Um, yeah, so if you want to add a graphics card, you can, but the power supply is not big enough for any gaming graphics card. Okay, so this power supply is kind of proprietary. So as you can see, there's a four pin connector here. It runs along and four pin connector to the motherboard. Okay, it's not running a 24 pin here. So it's just a four pin here and four pin on this one. So this power supply is actually proprietary or special to HP build itself. All right, so you can't add a gaming graphics card because they won't be have enough power. You do not have any more power to power up the graphics card. So you would have to probably end up with a low profile graphics card which does not require any power like a six pin or eight pin connector. So any low profile graphics card that doesn't require more power, you may able to install this um, as an external graphics card. Okay, so this, this right here, this black cable right here, is actually to draw the power from the motherboard and it powers up the hard drive. So this is the secondary, secondary hard drive, which is you can see a one terabyte here. Okay, so this is one terabyte um, data drive as a secondary, because this is the main uh, CD drive, uh, the C drive, the op optical, um, sorry, the Windows drive. Now, it does come additional one more uh, power SATA port here. And I believe you can actually install maybe another um, can we can we install another one no we cannot I'm sorry I'm sorry let me take it back uh, this one is pretty useless you know why because even if you install the the third hard drive all right somehow you try to mount it somewhere here but you do not have enough setup port oh Duh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to anything. Um, you do have one more setup port right here. Okay, I apologize. Let me rewind myself, correct myself again. If you want to install a third hard drive, meaning this, this one here is your C drive. All right, this hard drive is your D drive. And then you want to install another one, right? Um, let's just say you want to install another M.2 SSD drive, right? So you can typically can install, so you just put it here, and you would install the, let me go grab the, uh, the SATA cable here, just a second. All right, so you can actually install a third hard drive here all right you can just install a third hard drive here so you have the uh, C drive for the Windows um, hard drive for this and you know another hard drive as a third one if you prefer okay so I'm not going to do that I'm just trying to explain this to you is possible to install additional hard drive here um, all right, speaking about the power supply, sorry, I come back again. Um, probably, you know, you're not gonna need this because uh, this, this, this desktop here is pretty new. It just came out. And I'm just referring to like future. So let's say if you watch this video like six months down the road or maybe one year down the road, that you probably had a power outage at home. And once the power outage went out, the next day you try to turn on the computer, nothing came on. Right, the power, the computer is completely dead. Uh, it's not powering on. Then you might want to consider changing the power supply. All right, 
So here's the power supply. Uh, let me turn it around here. So I'll show you the model. So here you can see it says HPPN, meaning the product number. And here it says L70042-006. So this would be your power supply replacement. You know, if anything went out like, you know, power outage or anything, then you might want to match the power supply with the ports, right? Make sure you have a port here, four pin connector. And same for here, the four pin connector here. All right. So the next step, uh, the next step probably the lastly would be your motherboard. So if you have a burn motherboard or something is wrong with the motherboard, you need to do a replacement. Here is the replacement model here. I'm not sure if the camera can focus. Come on, focus. But yeah, so that would be your product number right there. It's hard to focus, but you you should be able to see it on your on your desktop, on your motherboard as well. And here is your heatsink and CPU fan. If you want to, you know, replace your CPU, you just have to remove the four screws, remove the heatsink, and you're gonna see the Intel i7 uh, 10 generation CPU. And this way, you can replace the CPU. Now, uh, pretty much this is it. You know. Um, if you have any question, just comment below. I hope that this video helps uh, explain to you uh, what might be expected when you buy this desktop. So these are the things that you would see. These are the things that is built in internally of this HP model, TE01-1022. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe, click the like button, or smash the like button like what everyone is telling now. It's not to click but to smash it and that would motivate me to make more of this video explain to you more of this type of uh, desktops in the near coming future i really appreciate you for watching the video all the way to the end and until next time please take care and if you have any question comment below i'm here and more than happy to help you take care and goodbye